Hey guys, Dave and Callie. A father in Colorado Springs just absolutely slams the CRT, critical race theory, at a school board meeting. Watch this guy in action. <laughs> I am the direct descendant of the North American slave trade. Both my parents are black, all four of my grandparents are black, all eight of my great-great-grandparents, all 16 of my great-greats. On my mother's side, my ancestors were enslaved in Alabama. On my father's side, we were enslaved in Texas. I am not oppressed. I'm not oppressed, and I'm not a victim. I'm neither oppressed nor a victim. I travel all across this country of ours. And I check into hotels, and I fly commercially, and I walk into retail establishments, and I order food in restaurants. I go wherever I want, whenever I want. I am treated with kindness, dignity, and respect, literally from coast to coast. I have three children. They are not oppressed either, although they are victims. I've taught my children they are victims of three things. Their own ignorance, their own laziness, and their own poor decision making. That is all. My children, we are not victims of America. We are not victims of some unseen 190-year-old force that kind of floats around in the ether. Putting critical race theory into our classrooms is taking our nation in the wrong direction. Racism in America would by and large be dead today if it were not for certain people and institutions keeping it on life support. And sadly, sadly, very sadly, one of those institutions is the American education system. I can think of nothing more damaging to a society than to tell a baby born today that she has grievances against another baby born today simply because of what their ancestors may have done two centuries ago. There is simply no point in doing that to our children. And putting critical race theory into our classrooms in part does that. Putting critical race theory into our classrooms is not combating racism. It's fanning the flames of what little embers are left. I encourage you to support this resolution. Let racism die the death it deserves. And let's keep living the life of the country that we want. Thank you. Man. After that powerful statement, the school board uh, decided to, to go ahead and put it to vote, and it was 3-2 in favor of abolishing it and not using it. So, America, people are starting to wake up. People realize they have the power. They put the representatives in to represent them, not something else. So anyway, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.